there's a good chance sports fans could see professional baseball, basketball, and hockey all begin play within the next month. 22 News reporter Hector Molina is live in the newsroom to explain what guidelines these leagues will have to follow. Well, it's been a while since we've seen our favorite sports, our favorite teams, and players in action. But with leagues taking part in increased testing and less travel, sports could return if all goes well. Basketball was the first major pro league to decide on a date to resume play. The NBA announced that play will resume on July 30th with stringent health and safety protocols with games taking place on their single site campus at Disney's Wide World of Sports in Orlando, Florida. Major League Baseball announced its return and recently released a schedule with opening day, opening day set for July 24th. And most recently, the NHL announced yesterday that games could resume in August with Edmonton and Toronto serving as the likely bubble locations. 22 News spoke with former Springfield Falcons play-by-play -play announcer, now St. Louis Blues play-by-play -play announcer Chris Kerber, who said a lot of games played in a short amount of time could be very exciting for fans. Be several games every single day from starting at noon all the way down. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be awesome. For those that have been waiting for sports to come back, this is going to be maybe the best return to play of them all. The NHL plan must first be voted on by the Players Association Executive Committee before going to an all-players vote before play resumes. And despite the plans for sports to return professionally, baseball will be played here in western Massachusetts as soon as tomorrow night with the Westfield Starfires home opener. And all pro sports return dates are tentative based on any spikes with COVID-19 among players within their respective leagues. Hector Molina, 22 News.